Today, we're talking about underrated habits of hyperproductive engineers. Ever feel like you've been busy all day as an engineer, jumping between meetings, slacks, emails, but by the end of it, you look back and think, what did I actually accomplish today? You see, there's this common belief, right? That being a productive engineer means constantly being on, always available, always responsive, juggling 10 things at once. It feels like the default mode, but I've learned that true productivity, the kind that actually lets you build cool stuff and not feel completely drained at the end of the day, isn't really about being busy. It's about being strategic with your energy and focus. I've been working as a software engineer for over two years now, and I've definitely had my fair share of these unproductive, chaotic days. However, over time, I found a few simple, yet yeah, incredibly powerful changes that have completely transformed how much work I can get done and honestly how much more I enjoy my job. So in this video I'm going to share my top three tips for reclaiming your time and boosting your output as an engineer. Let's dive in. All right, it's the start of the day. I planned out a couple tasks I want to get done today. I'm just getting logged in thinking about how to tackle this problem. Oh, a Slack message. Someone needs help. Okay, let me quickly respond. Just got an email that someone responded to my merge request. Oh, just got a calendar alert for a meeting in 30 minutes. By the time I clear those little interruptions, I've completely lost my train of thought. It takes ages to get back to where I was. It's like my brain had to reboot every few minutes. Think about building a really complex castle. You're deep in it. Finding the right pieces, planning the structure, and every minute, someone comes by and taps you on the shoulder, asks you a quick question, or throws a pebble into your pile of bricks. You stop deal with the pebble or question, and by the time you get back, you've forgotten which piece you're looking for and which section that one belongs to. Those little pebbles, those taps, they're your notifications. They might seem harmless just at a quick glance, but they constantly pull you out of your focused work. That's why my first tip for a productive engineering day is disabling all notifications. Put your phone on do not disturb, turn off desktop pop-ups for chat and email. You need to be checking these notifications on your own schedule. Okay, let's look at my calendar for a typical day. I have a stand up at 9.30, a sync meeting at 10.30, a little bit of a gap, then a meeting at 12, another break, a meeting at two, and then a final meeting at 3.30. You see these little gaps between meetings? 30 minute block here, 45 minutes there, that's time. But it's not really useful time for deep engineering work. Can I start architecting that new service in 45 minutes? Maybe, but probably not at great quality. You'll probably just feel rushed or just get interrupted again or have to switch context for the next meeting. It almost feels like you're spending more time recovering from all the context switches than actually doing the work. Imagine trying to drive across the country, but every 50 miles, you have to pull over completely, get out of the car, walk around for 15 minutes, and then get back in and restart the engine. You'd spend more time stopping and starting than actually driving. Scattered meetings are like these forced stops. They break up your journey and prevent you from building up the momentum you need. To get real work done, you need longer, uninterrupted stretches, which leads me to my second tip. Aggressively manage your meeting schedule. Decline meetings that don't have a clear agenda or don't benefit you. Propose switching scattered meetings to be back to back. And most importantly, block out significant chunks of heads down time on your calendar, especially during hours you know you're the most productive. Let's go, it's 5 p.m., work's finally done. But is it? My brain's still buzzing about that tricky problem I was trying to fix. I keep thinking about a code review comment I got earlier today. I'm physically away from my desk, but mentally I'm still chained to it. Later this evening, I might even check Slack to see if anyone messaged me. You see, your brain's like a high-performance computer. You wouldn't just leave it running complex simulations 24-7 without ever turning it off or restarting it, right? It would overheat, slow down, or eventually crash. You need to properly shut down your work program so your system can rest, clear its cache, and be ready to boot up fresh and fast the next morning. Just closing the lid isn't enough. You need a full shutdown ritual. Consistently in productive days comes from being truly recharged, which leads me to my third and final tip. Implement a clear, intentional shutdown ritual at the end of your workday. This could be a quick workout, going for a walk, dedicating time to a hobby you love, spending time with family, reading a physical book, anything that signals to your brain that work is done and you can switch gears immediately. So there you have it. My typical productive day isn't just about using some magic app or just working more. It's about these three simple but powerful shifts. The first being silencing your notifications, turning on do not disturb, and looking at your notifications on your own time. Second tip, mastering the calendar. Time is your most important asset. Control when your meetings are, which meetings you attend, and stop the constant contact switching. And lastly, maybe the most important tip is implementing a shutdown ritual so you're fully recharged the next day. Find something you love to do and take that needed break from work. Implementing these might feel weird or difficult at first. Turning off notifications feels scary. Declining meetings might feel rude and it takes discipline to truly unplug. But trust me, the difference they make in your ability to focus 
get meaningful work done, and actually enjoy your time outside of work is immense. You'll definitely feel less busy, but accomplish way more. If you're an engineer struggling with feeling unproductive or overwhelmed, give these tips a try. Let me know in the comments below which tip resonated with you the most, or if you have additional productivity hacks. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're looking for a productive day in action, check out this video here.